with Parkinson's disease are being invited to join the North State Therapeutic Choir for free. That's because a new grant has come through. And we're happy to be joined by Erin Haley and Pam Sox, Sax, I want to say it right, Sax, like saxophone, uh, to tell us all about it. We're talking music therapy. What a wonderful program, number one. But for people who haven't heard of the North State Therapeutic Choir, how do you explain it? Sure. Our choir is designed for people with Parkinson's disease and their caregivers to um, support the vocal symptoms that come along with Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So we do vocal warm-ups, um, breathing exercises, articulation exercises, to and then sing-alongs that address the symptoms such as decreased volume, decreased intelligibility that come along with the motor um, effects of Parkinson's disease. Um, I know you've seen some success with this mm -hmm. program and again very excited that this new grant has come forward to allow it to continue and allow more people to take part. Um, so how do people or their caregivers go about signing up for the program? So what you want to do is email me, and I believe you have our email available to mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and I will send them information about how to get started. Okay. And we'll send them a Zoom link so that they could go on in the morning of our uh, practice. And uh, but the most important thing we want to tell people is that there's there's so few therapies for people with Parkinson's, and Parkinson's is a um, is an illness that people live with for decades. So they might have speech problems, but they will only get eight sessions of speech therapy. Mm -hmm. We will give them 75 sessions of music therapy using a lot of the things that speech therapists use, plus the fun of having music. Right, and um, you know, just again, uh, uh, right now, and I don't know if it's always been through Zoom. I know that was kind of brought on by the <laughs> coronavirus, but mm -hmm. um, it makes it, I presume, even easier for some folks to be able to do it from home. There's benefits and challenges to both both in person and Zoom. We we did start in person and had to move to Zoom because of COVID, okay. which really was great because it expanded our reach, and we we ended up having we ended up having participants from all over Northern California. Some other states have joined in so that has been wonderful and um, some folks say that they're concerned about being heard they're not comfortable with how their voice sounds and this way on zoom they don't have to be heard unless unless we un unmute or for some reason but they, that allows some, for some anonymity along with participation. So. We should mention that uh, the next session begins August 8th. Again, free to Parkinson's patients. And we do want to steer you also to the Facebook page where you can find out more. And we have a link to that at actionnewsnow.com. Just click on news links. I want to thank you both for being with us today. It's a very exciting program. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.